taking 15 minutes, I'm going to briefly describe what is Crane Beam Analyzer. Crane Beam Analyzer, which is this program, is an analysis and design program for crane beams. Those crane beams are supporting overhead traveling cranes. It is not for monorail, it is only for overhead traveling cranes. Design is according to the American specification AIC 36005, which is almost the same as AIC 36010. This program mainly is developed for built up sections. However, it can also support hot rail section as we are going to see through the upcoming demonstrations. The best way to see this, what this program can do is a real example. This is a program interface. We have a three modes of input, standard input, which we'll be using today. Advanced input is the editor, which you can use and edit as much as you wish. And strains, if you have a strains in hand, here is the output screen. And here is the navigation panel where we can go through all the items. Okay, we have a new file and um, save this file first. Demo 2, Demo 1. Okay, the screen beam analysis and design. This project XYZ and designer is um, EFG and we are going to consider our problem which consists of crane beam 7.5 meter supporting two overhead traveling cranes one is 25 metric ton crane another one is 16 metric ton both are bendant operated the 25 metric ton crane has four wheels at each end track and the 16 metric ton has only two wheels Okay, 7.5 meter and adjacent span is 6 meter and unbraced lens for the top flange of the beam itself negative 1 means 7.5 meter or we can write 7.5 foot um, euros the current span 7.5 and bottom flange unbraced lens negative 1 means 7.5 meter current span or you can write 7.5 as you wish okay this is our assumption for the sections this is the fatigue design you can consider a number of cycles or the class as you wish. And now for the cranes. Let us clear those cranes and load from our database. Mm, double girder, 25, 20 meters span with four wheels. This one we are going to use. This is the dynamic factors we are going to use. Insert, add another crane. Yes, we added only this one. Delete this one. Load crane from database. Double, 16 with 20 meter span. Okay, fine. Insert. Now we have this 25. Double click, load it here. Has a four wheels and have a maximum static wheel load of 82.7. And this 16 have 105 kilonewton as a maximum static wheel load because it's only supported by two wheels. This why the reaction for the two wheels for 16 metric ton is more than the 25 metric ton. Constant your uh, my field, modulus of elasticity, deflection limitation, analysis stepping, additional weight to the crane beams. All those screens where we have added our data is now converted into text into advanced level where you can edit it easily if you wish to change for example the wheelbase um, whatever you change here will be reflected again um, we change it for example this um, outer base from 3.2 to 3.1 let us see how it's going now it's 3.1 okay solve let us see what we have okay we have um, this output configurations all the configuration you already considered when you were solving your problems deflections spans adjacent span those two different adjacent spans because the program would give you the proper reaction for unequal spans in such a cases considering the higher span would be very conservative and considering the lower span only 
will be underestimating the reactions on your supporting bracket. The program will solve this case, this common case actually, and give you a appropriate reaction, actual reaction. Okay, let's go back here to this grouping method of cranes. We have three methods using MBMA conditions, or all, all means all cranes are operating at the same time. So you will not be applying this 50% issues for MBMA or none. None means each crane will be separated, will be treated separately, will not be grouped with any other. Okay, let us show MBMA because this will give the most critical combinations. Now we have a five cases of combination because we have used MBMA if all we are expecting to have only one analysis case. Now keep it again in BMA and maximize this. And let us see what we have. We have the two cranes data, all are listed here. And those combinations due to MBMA combinations, first crane, second crane, both cranes with 50% of horizontal, 100% first one, and 100% second crane. Analysis cases for those five cases in the same order will be analyzed here. Each force, this is the train load, the program generated and going to analysis based on this. The spacing between each load, stresses, straining actions, maximum moment, was correspond maximum MX was corresponding in Y, maximum in Y was corresponding in X, shear values, inflection, reaction, and all this are given with respect to the train position, which is the first wheel location, with respect to left support, which actually is this distance. Accordingly, you can verify or double check what is going on. And this value might be more than the wheel, uh, than the span itself, because this train is moving outside of this, this trains are moving. So the program is detecting which one is most critical for this. Okay, we have the five analysis cases as prescribed here. And now for the design phase, the program will take all those cases and design the section for this. But before this, it will apply the code limitation to determine the strength of the section, for example, this major axis flexural. For each step, the program will report which case has been considered. Code section F4, equation F411, or 410, dot by dot. So you can trace it, you can verify it, you can see whatever you wish. It is not a black box, everything in detail, nothing to hide. Shear strands. Okay, I prefer actually to check also case 4. Case 4, train load, what we have. We have both cranes are operating. The first crane have four wheels, have 100% of horizontal forces, and the other one with 0%. So I'm expecting that uh, this might be the critical case. Let us see. Section properties, uh, section capacity, summary of strengths. So maybe letter to buckling is controlling our major axis flexion. And case 4A, 4A, analysis case one, 4, and A is this one. The slight difference between two values, between corresponding MY and maximum MY, because actually the forces are not distributed along the, f <coughs> sorry, along all the wheels. It's only concentrated with the first four wheels. The other one is zero, zero. Okay, let's go back for the combined stresses. Okay, here is the combined stresses. 0 0.93, 0 0.54, vertical moment, horizontal moment, shear, point load, deflection, and at the end, the fatigue, a megapascal. We have all of this. We have section float, we can change this. We might try 350, hope it will work. Scroll to end. Scroll to end will keep you 
keep an eye on the weight of crane beam and maximum unity check and list of errors if you have any error it will be showed here so you know what you are doing is true or not without having to go and scroll all these pages again and again and again ok let us check 1.05 yes it is because of this letter to ocean buckling 0.91 stress let's try 1.02 better to keep it ok now the section is safe you are happy enough with your plate cutting it's your wish to change it it's your wish to use a cabbage channel instead of the flange or with the flange it is your wish um, finally you will have this output in a word format well detailed you can print to PDF you can include in your notes If you are using some material takeoff program, you can customize this to reflect your material takeoff. This plate 20 millimeter, you need 412 kilogram, which is 2.6 meters square. The program will do all this calculation for you, so you can price it accordingly. And finally, this program actually has consumed a very long time for developing and checking and verifying that everything is going fine it is not a free program I have reinvested years in developing of this program this program can support up to 25 cranes each one with 4 wheels which is almost 100 wheels are running on a crane beam if you have a doubt, clarification you are requesting for a trial version Please contact me. My contacts are shown here. And for more detailed, it is again Karim Kamel, k underscore Kamel at Outlook.com. And here is my mobile number. Please feel free to send me an email to post a comment on YouTube, and I will be responding to you as much as possible. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.